In the heart of 1970s television, The Streets of San Francisco emerged as a crime drama that not only gripped audiences with its gritty narratives, but also left an indelible mark on the era's cultural landscape. As we delve into the iconic streets of the city by the bay, one can't help but wonder. Can you recall a personal story where this TV series became a catalyst for inspiration or left a lasting impact on your life? Alternatively, is there a particular scene or moment from the show that resonates with you, echoing through the corridors of memory? Before we invite you to share your cherished memories, let's set the stage with a few intriguing tidbits about the show. Starring Carl Malden and a young Michael Douglas, the series illuminated the complexities of crime, solving against the backdrop of San Francisco's distinctive locales. The dynamic partnership between veteran detective Mike Stone and his protege Inspector Steve Keller formed the nucleus of the narrative, navigating the nuances of law enforcement in a city teeming with both shadows and sunlight. Now we turn the spotlight to you. What is your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to this timeless TV series? We invite you to share your stories and reflections in the comments below. Your narratives not only contribute to the collective tapestry of fan experiences, but also breathe life into the enduring legacy of The Streets of San Francisco. The Streets of San Francisco, a gripping TV series that first graced screens in the early 1970s, emerged as a crime drama masterpiece that left an indelible mark on popular culture. Developed by Edward Hume and produced by Quinn Martin, the show not only brought the iconic backdrop of San Francisco to life, but also captivated audiences with its compelling narratives. The series centered around the dynamic partnership of veteran detective Lieutenant Mike Stone, played by Carl Malden, and his young, energetic partner, Inspector Steve Keller, portrayed by a young Michael Douglas. The duo tackled a myriad of complex cases, navigating the labyrinthine alleys and scenic streets of the city. Their camaraderie and the juxtaposition of their generations added depth to the storytelling. The show's signature style blended the grit of police procedurals with a touch of character-driven drama, setting it apart in the crowded television landscape. Notably, the chemistry between Malden and Douglas became a defining element, elevating the show beyond its crime-solving premise. The streets of San Francisco not only secured critical acclaim, but also left an enduring legacy, influencing subsequent crime dramas and solidifying San Francisco as an iconic backdrop for television storytelling. Its impact on the genre and the city itself resonates to this day, a testament to its timeless appeal. Carl Malden, age 60 at the series' inception, portrayed the seasoned detective Lieutenant Mike Stone in the streets of San Francisco. Remarkably, he forged a lasting bond with his on-screen partner, the youthful inspector Steve Keller, played by Michael Douglas. This professional camaraderie evolved into a genuine friendship, evident two decades later at the 1996 People's Choice Awards. On stage together, Malden, referring to Douglas as the son I never had, revealed his desire for producer Quinn Martin to cast Douglas in the series. Douglas reciprocated, calling Malden my mentor, underscoring the genuine connection formed during their time on the show. This relationship, beyond the crime-solving narratives, added a distinctive layer to the streets of San Francisco. The series, despite its gritty police procedural style, became a platform for the intergenerational chemistry between Malden and Douglas. Their enduring connection continued to resonate, contributing to the show's timeless appeal and leaving an indelible mark on the crime drama genre. When the streets of San Francisco first hit the small screen in the early 1970s, it struggled to find its footing. Initially pitted against CBS popular Saturday night sitcoms, the show's pilot movie and early episodes failed to capture a sizable audience. It ranked low in the telecast lineup, prompting ABC to make a strategic move in January 1973. Shuffling its programs, the network shifted the streets of San Francisco to Thursday night, and the decision paid off. The series gained traction, securing an 18 rating and 31% share of the audience. Over the next three years, the streets of San Francisco thrived on Thursday nights, climbing the ranks to 22 and 26 for its second to fourth seasons, respectively. However, a misstep in the 1976-77 television season proved detrimental. ABC moved the show to an earlier time slot, pitting it directly against another Quinn Martin production, Barnaby Jones. The result? A split audience, with both crime dramas losing viewership. The decline, coupled with rising production costs and contract negotiations with star Carl Malden, led to Abbott's decision to cancel the series. Intriguingly, Michael Douglas, who played Inspector Steve Keller, had his own unexpected twist. In 1976, as he contemplated leaving the series, 
he anticipated a dramatic exit, envisioning a five-page death scene in the gutter. However, the plot took a different turn, and his character departed not in demise, but to pursue a teaching career. The streets of San Francisco faced challenges, but left an enduring mark on television history, its fate shaped by programming shifts and the dynamics of the competitive landscape. The series, though short-lived, remains a notable chapter in the evolution of crime dramas. In the streets of San Francisco, Carl Malden held a unique distinction during its five-season run, was the sole actor to appear in every episode. This season actor portrayed Lieutenant Mike Stone, a veteran detective in the San Francisco Police Department. The series, which debuted in the early 1970s, garnered attention not just for its crime drama prowess, but also for its portrayal of police procedures. One interesting detail from the show's depiction of police work is the use of unmarked Ford four-door sedans by the inspectors. In a departure from authentic SFPD vehicles, the series showcased these cars responding to emergencies with a single revolving magnetic red light on the roof. This deviation from reality added a unique visual element to the crime-solving narrative. The role of an inspector in the San Francisco Police Department is worth noting. Unlike in some other police departments where inspector is a higher rank in the SFPD, an inspector is essentially a detective. This nuance adds depth to the characters and their positions within the law enforcement hierarchy. As the series navigated its trajectory, facing challenges and triumphs, Carl Malden's consistent presence provided a stable anchor. His character, Lieutenant Mike Stone, became synonymous with the enduring legacy of the streets of San Francisco. The show's success, marked by its strategic shift in programming and subsequent ratings climb, eventually faced setbacks leading to its cancellation. However, the impact of the series on the crime drama genre and its portrayal of police work is undeniable. In retrospect, The Streets of San Francisco, despite its relatively short-lived existence, remains a noteworthy chapter in the evolution of television crime dramas. The interplay of characters, the unique portrayal of police procedures, and the steady presence of Carl Malden contributed to the show's lasting appeal. It's a testament to the show's influence that even today, elements from this 1970s crime drama continue to resonate in the landscape of television storytelling. As we bid adieu to the intriguing narratives and the captivating tapestry of characters that make up the timeless urban odyssey we've been immersed in, take a moment to traverse the corridors of your own memories. The streets of San Francisco have not only unfolded tales of crime and justice, they've woven into the fabric of our lives, subtly influencing the way we perceive the streets we walk and the stories that unfold around us. As you reflect on your personal journey through the maze of episodes and investigations, let the nostalgia of that iconic era wash over you. Perhaps it's the dynamic duo of Carl Malden and Michael Douglas that resonates with you, or maybe it's the pulsating rhythm of the city's heartbeat echoing through each frame. Whatever the case, your connection with the streets of San Francisco is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Now it's your turn to step into the spotlight. Share with us your favorite moments, the scenes that etch themselves into the corridors of your mind, or the characters whose stories you still carry with you. Whether it's a quiet alleyway or a bustling intersection, every fan has a unique intersection with this captivating series. Thank you for joining us on this journey down memory lane, where the shadows of the past blend seamlessly with the present. Your thoughts and memories breathe life into the essence of the streets of San Francisco, making this shared experience all the more profound. Keep the conversations alive, share your reflections, and continue to explore the rich narratives that have left an indelible mark on the city streets and your own. Until our paths cross again, may the echoes of San Francisco's tales linger in your thoughts.